Good morning. Spent uh, a lot of this morning just having breakfast, coffee, chilling out here. This little parking spot, it, uh, I don't know. It's nice because no one bothers you and uh, there's actually a bathroom that we could use right here, but it's funny how like you seal up the van and oh. it doesn't really matter where you are. Your home, you can watch movies, you can chill out on the couch and do all the kind of like regular home stuff, but uh, I'm actually in a car right now, which is kind of weird. We should sort out some showers and uh, see what we have to do. There's only about a day and a half left with Sarah here, so gotta make a count. So yeah, my repair job, it's not beautiful, but it is watertight and it is sleek, so it does get through the water, no problem. And honestly, that's all I really wanted. This board was super cheap, and uh, I managed to save it from being snapped in half, essentially. <laughs> so, no complaints. As long as it works, right? That's all that matters. And once you're in the water, really, nobody cares what your surfboard looks like. So, zero complaints out of me. Ugly, but it works. It's pretty much my MO, anyway. All right, day two of surfing. Uh, managed to get up on one foot and a knee and I knee boarded the surfboard a few times down the ways. I think the board might be a little bit, like a little tiny bit too small for me. Um, I, if I was a much better surfer, it would probably be the right size because like the better you are, the smaller a board you can use. But um, just to like, the challenge right now for me is to learn to get up and I'm probably made myself have a little bit harder of a time because I've got this board that's so small, but I'll get up there eventually. I got a lot of time to figure it out, so. We'll do it and we'll get some good footage of it eventually. For the time being, Sarah wants me to source her a shower. She won't swim in the ocean, something wrong with her. And uh, I don't know, we'll figure out what we'll do today. Alright, first stop after the YMCA where Sarah grabbed a shower is the Women's Museum of California. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, the park that it's in is actually gorgeous. There's lots of stuff to see. So we're gonna grab a snack, we're gonna see the museum, we're gonna take a little walk in tour, it's gonna be nice. I gave it all, but you'd have a The Women's Museum was pretty cool. It's a small museum, but it's got a lot of changing exhibitions. It's very localized, so it's mostly about like California, the suffrage movement there, and then also San Diego specifically. It did a big exhibition just on the history of, of sailing, um, rowing and all that going on here in San Diego for women. It's pretty interesting over the last um, 100 years of like consistently stepping it up. It's pretty neat. and. Also, really cool, it's right next to a great food market, so we grabbed some lunch. We got these awesome tater tots, this amazing stuffed burger, stuffed with cheese and jalapenos, so good. Sorry, I got a salad. <laughs> Oh 
So uh, the real reason I came to San Diego is to pick up my new boat because uh, I'm sponsored and uh, I'm just going to go travel the world in a nice boat and stuff. Uh, it's a little bit of fixer upper but you know, I think we can manage. Pretty pumped on it. Sorry, that was terrible. Welcome to San Diego's boardwalk. This is kind of a touristy area but very pretty and there's lots of cool sailboats to check out which is definitely my kind of thing right now. Still eyeing up all kinds of boats. I really don't know what I'm going to get. I want something weird. Like really weird. It's like the van, you know, the van's kind of weird. I like that. Anyway, still a couple of years off anyway, probably. Who knows? I know better than to hold it in. It squeezes out beyond my control. You walk away to hurt me more. My energy makes the point. Save it all to say you win Back at uh, Fiesta Park or Mission Bay or whatever this is called. Kind of like the parking lot where a lot of rigs park up for the night. I don't know what the deal is with Fiesta Park. I'd like to park on there, but I think they're a little bit stricter on that. But currently there's like big campfires going on across the bay. I don't know. I just don't have the balls for that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to park here in the lot where it seems like even though you're not allowed to based on all the signs, it's one of those scenarios where everyone breaks the rules anyway. So here I am. We're just gonna chill out here tonight and watch uh, Blade Runner. Um, lately I've been watching a lot of like, especially meta movies or like f stuff that uh, allows me to like think creatively about my editing, about my storytelling. So if you got any suggestions, leave them in the comments. I'm, I'm all ears. Been uh, catching up on a lot of stuff. This is how I kind of like stay enthused about editing and, and, and all this stuff. Cause this is pretty draining. I mean, <laughs> I put a lot of work into these videos and I can, uh, it can take its toll sometimes, so. Sorry for the infrequent upload, and sorry for uh, all that, but uh, I'm gonna recharge and watch some Blade Runner tonight. Good night.